Thank you for inviting me. First of all, I would like to thank to the San Diego Vermelet Society and those who made this talk possible, especially to Dankina, Eloise, and Andrew for their support. I would like to talk today um, as a walk through the characteristics of the plants uh, that attract visitors in bromeliads, and I hope you enjoy it. Let me share the presentation. Yeah. Well, this talk is about the floral characteristics in bromeliads, especially about the shape and colors of the petals and what the bromeliad offer to visitors. For example, nectar characteristics and the relationship between uh, flowers and pollinators. It's knowing that the flower morphology is fundamental for their reproductive successful and many plants depend on the flora visitors. At least a half of Romilla species are pollinated by birds. And today I would like to show you that not all visitors are pollinators. For example, we can find uh, rovers, the real pollinators, and the predators uh, that are looking for uh, food. But in bromeliads, what are the visitors looking for? It's knowing that uh, many, some animals can digest the pollen, like bees, but the principal product that they are looking for is the nectar, which is a sugar li rich liquid produced by plants, nectaries and uh, which attract pollinators. And on the other hand, many animals search for food like insects and also the tanks can be a refuge. Many insects fulfill their life cycle inside. And what about the nectar characteristics? One, uh, one kind of important thing that we can measure is the volume, which is the quantity of nectar. And in bromelias present a huge variation from microliters to liters. Another thing is the concentration of the sugars in bromelias. We can find uh, diluted nectar around 10 to 12 bricks degrees or concentrated uh, from 20 to 26 bricks degree. Bricks degree is a measure of the concentration of sugar. For example, we can find in orange around eight to 12 bricks degree and in grapes is more concentrated until 26 bricks degree. Another thing important to be measured is the composition, which refers to, to the type of the sugar for example, glucose, fructose, sucrose, and exose. It's known that the signal, there are signals to specific pollinators. For example, the color of the petals and the color of the bracts, like, like in bromeliads, the nectar white, the presence of fragrancy, the, and the flower morphology. But all the things implies a cost for plants in order to increase the reproductive success. In this slide, I only want to show you that there are many pollination syndromes associated with uh, floral traits, for example, the color of the petal, the presence of fragrancy, the nectar, and even if the flower can be open at, at night. So, what about the pollination syndromes? Are floral characteristics that attract one or more groups of pollinators? For example, the red flowers 
tubular and huge volume of nectar are, are visited principally by birds. And in those cases in, with uh, yellow flowers or even blue to purple flowers with white lip and short floral tubes are visited more by uh, bees. Also, some study I refer that exists a relationship among the size of the plant, the size and shape of the flowers, and uh, the visitors and pollinators. In bromeliads, we can find two kinds of flowers, for example, the tubular flowers with blue to purple, red, and yellow petals, and like we can find in Tilansioide, Bromelioide, Pitcarnioide, and Puyoide. And even we can uh, find extended flowers uh, with white, cream, and lilac petals uh, that we can find in Hectioide. In this slide, we can see the, the huge variation in shape and also in colors uh, of the petals and sepals in bromelia and also uh, the different kind of bracts colored. Well, I will let to, to show you today some examples in, about species and visitors observed. This is the case of Stilansia hymnobotria, which is a, an epiphyte species with uh, pink bracts and, and tubular flowers with uh, blue to purple color, colored in petals. Uh, this species grow in pine forests principally and is observed, uh, visited by hummingbirds. This is uh, Tilansia prinosa, it's a beautiful species also, uh, visited by hummingbirds. And we can see in this slide the tubular flowers with purple color. In this case, uh, I'm introducing Tilansia de Peana, which uh, grow here in Mexico and present uh, pink and uh, bracts and, and also pink sepals, and the petals are lila. Yeah, this species grow in clog forest and also in disturbed flower forest, and is visited by hummingbirds. This is Tilansia filifolia. It's a beautiful species, but um, a small species that present uh, small flowers with uh, lila petals and is observed also visited by hummingbirds. This is Tilansia inopinata, which is included in the fasciculata complex. We can see the purple petals is, uh, present um, long flowers with uh, purple petals and is visited also by hummingbirds. In this case, uh, here is uh, Tilansia tortilis. It's an epiphyte species that grow uh, in coniferous to xerophytic scrub principally and present bracts and sepals uh, with a pink color. And the petals are uh, beautiful green apple <laughs> in the petals and is visited by uh, hummingbirds could be also visited by butterflies and some insects. Here there is uh, Tilansia rubescens, uh, which is in the uh, McDougally complex. And um, we can see in this picture the, the um, bracts, uh, pink bracts in, in the green petals, is visited also by hummingbirds and could be also by insects. This species grow principally in the pine forest. Could be Saxicolus or 
also and also epiphyte species. In this case, uh, I am presenting the Chilancia bartrami that grow in the tropical forest to serophytic screw. And uh, this species is included in the Huncia, Tilancia Huncia complex. And you, we can see the purple petals and it's observed visited by hummingbirds. Also, Tilancia pringle is visited by hummingbirds, uh, but in this case, uh, this species present white petals. Here there is uh, Tilancia mauriana, which is one of my favorite species in, in Tilancia, and grow in serophytic screw, uh, present uh, pink bracts and green petals, and is visited also by hummingbirds and could be visited by insects. In this case, uh, here is presented Tilancia parry, which is a tall species with uh, long inflorescence, in color with um, also the bracts and sepals are very pink to red color and the petals are purple principally, uh, visited by hummingbirds. Also in, in some studies uh, are referred species like Tilancia terophila visited by uh, bats and the flowers open at, open at night. And Tilancia limbata is visited by hummingbirds and bees. In this case, uh, here is presented Catopsis sesiliflora, which is uh, another genus included in Tilancioide and is visited principally by insects and, and grow in tropical forest. Tilancia, uh, sorry, Catopsis nutans, also in this subfamily Tilancioide. And this species was observed in Venezuela. Uh, is fragrant at night and the flowers open at night also and could be visited by moth. This is uh, another genus, Guzmania, Guzmania monostachia and Guzmania multiflora uh, that are visited also by hummingbirds. Inside the bromelioide, uh, there is a huge genus, Agmea, and in this case, I present the Agmea pectinata for, from the Ferreira and Sassima studies. They reported uh, the human birds are, different human birds are visiting the, the, the small flowers and present white petals. And another genius, Cryptanthus, is reported by Millet and Pinheiro uh, with extended flowers with white, white petals, visited by um, some kind of uh, Euglossin, uh, it's a kind of um, bees, and present a nectar and fragrance, and also a, um, this volatile substance, Copalol, that uh, attract the in this study from Marquez and collaborators, uh, which reported for the first time uh, in Bilbergia, uh, visited by uh, bats, in this case is Bilbergia horrida. Also in this study, from Aguilar and collaborators, uh, methyl and with the small flowers are visited by insects, insects and birds. Well, inside the Pitcarnioide, there is uh, this beautiful species, this is Pitcarnia heterophila, it's saxicolus principally, and also epiphyt, epiphyte species that grow in tropical to rainforest and is visited by hummingbirds, hummingbirds. 
also in this study from Rios and Cascante was reported visited uh, this species, uh, Pitcairnia terophila, the 68% of the visited visits are um, were human birds. In this case, uh, I here presented uh, Pitcairnia ringens, it's a beautiful succulent uh, terrestrial species that grow principally in the rainforest, and we can see the sepals and petals are red and is visited by hummingbirds. And here there is another genus inside the Pitcarnioide, is the genus Dicia that grow in Brazil and was reported by Lindsay and Paggy, uh, principally visited by hummingbirds, but also by bees and butterflies. Well, in this study, Aguilar and collaborators uh, presented 42 bromeliads uh, pollinated by birds, uh, including the genus Alcantaria, Bilbergia, Incolirium, Pitcairnia, Tilancia, Puya, and Beraulia. Inside the Puyoide, we can see in this study from Colombia, Puya Luca and Puya Atra, visited by hummingbirds. Also, Puya Vinabilis, inside the Puyoide subfamily, was reported visited by bats and also autopollination and uh, was observed some hummingbirds visiting the green to cream petals with tubular flowers. In Chile was observed uh, Puya venusta, which is a beautiful species that grow um, in the Andes and present uh, pink, pink uh, bracts and sepals and floral bracts also. And the petals are uh, purple in the tubular flowers and is visited by birds, but including hummingbirds and passerine birds. Here we can see uh, the um, Patagona gigas, which is the giant uh, hummingbird. And also we can see some um, passerine birds. And here is the one of my favorite species, Puyal pestris, which present green to blue petals uh, is visited by Patagona gigas and also by passerine birds and could be visited also by insects. We can so um, bees and some arthropods visiting the flowers. And we found the, the nectar is diluted in present exos, which is a kind of sugar uh, preferred by passing birds. And I want to refer you uh, this uh, study from Mizuno and collaborators in which they uh, propose that the color are determined by the presence of anthocyanin and flavones and even with the pH. Well, another species uh, growing in Chile is Puya chilensis, which is a tall species um, that growing at the sea level. It is visited by passerine bird principally, but also from uh, some bees and hummingbirds. Also the, the nectar is diluted and present exos. In Puya raimondi that grow in Peru and Bolivia, this is the giant bromelia. Uh, we found uh, different visitors. In this case, we found hummingbirds, passing birds, and also insects. Uh, this species uh, present a lot of nectar because there are many, many flowers. And we found at the first time, uh, silos is a 
kind of sugar that only grow in the old world. So this is the first record in, in America. And this uh, kind of sugar could be digested by mammals. In this case, it could be um, bats and also other mammals. Well, another kind of, of flower that we found in bromeliads are the um, extended flowers that we can found in Hectioide. Here I presented the Hectia glomerata that uh, present a small flowers with white petals and is visited by uh, insects. Here there is another Hectia, Hectia podanta, that grow here in, in Hidalgo. It's a dioecious plant and we can see uh, the male plants and the female plants at the right. Well, many uh, insects are visited both uh, sexes, but many uh, are shared by, by both sexes because, uh, for example, uh, some bees and some arthropods are visited in the both sexes. And, and during the day, we look many drop of nectar in each flower. And another Hectia that we can find here in Hidalgo is Hectia argentia that grow in these beautiful walls that I say that uh, is the real vertical gardens because the walls present 90 degrees. And um, this species present on small flowers uh, with white petals and is visited by, um, we can see the bees and some coleoptera and also butterflies. Another uh, genus included in Hectioides, the genus Baqueranta which uh, is recently separated from Hectia. Uh, I introducing the Hectia hidalgensis with each uh, new species uh, published recently. Uh, this genus present a leaf with serrated margin and uh, during the day can produce drop of, uh, a little drop of nectar in each flower. Uh, these flowers are uh, beautiful with lila to pink flowers and we saw uh, bees and some other insects visiting the flowers. Well, what the bromelia flower offer? One of the principal products is the nectar that I referred before, that the concentration could be from 12 to 25 degrees approx and the nectar volumes uh, vary a lot from microliters to liters in one day and uh, another thing important to the visitor is the composition of different sugar this could be related with the pollinators the presence of pollen also could be important in, principally by bees and uh, could be important uh, for other animals looking for some insects inside. One also, uh, the bromelias can be a refuge for other animals for the radiation and also for the temperature. So, the flower signals give an idea an idea about the possible visitors and pollinators, but it's important or also to observe them, including the rovers, and also understand the interaction and the dynamic for, of the visitors. The floor morphology is very important and the relationship between the size of the flowers, the color and the shape, and then the sugar composition uh, in the nectar, also the concentration.
Well, I would like to thank you today for this invitation and I hope you enjoy it. Thanks.